Hello everyone and nice that you are here again today. Today's video is about creating a new client in a SAP system. Clients can be used for many purposes, for example to separate several branches of a company into clients and still operate them on one SAP system. You could also set up a client specifically for testing. Now I will show you how this works. Here is my uh, virtual machine and in this machine SAP is running. So we start with editing a file with sudo nano slash sub mnt slash npl slash profile slash default. Then we type here the password and we scroll down to the end and we add here one line, login slash no automatic user sub star equals Null. Uh, without the dot. Okay, and uh, this will enable to lock it on SAP star user on the new client. So we save this. So we have added this entry and after that we have to reboot the virtual machine. Sudo reboot. Okay, the machine is restarted and now we connect to the, uh, first we have to start the SAP system with the command SUNPLADM, type here the root password and next we start the SAP system with start sub all. Okay, the SAP system is up and running. And now uh, let's log in to the SAP system with the user developer and the password download. Okay, then we use the transaction SM30 and type here the view name v underscore t b d l s click on maintain okay the table is cross client and i have already created the client here and now we copy this and we enter a third client so with the number three and I name this client client3. Then we save. Okay, we get a transport request, click on OK. And next, we open the transaction SCC4. And in this transaction, we set the settings of the new client. So we click on new entries and then the number of the client is three and the description client three. Next we pick a city, the logical system 
This is the system we created before. Then the currency. And the client role. I pick here training and education. So the next uh, entries, I leave this on default and I click on save. Then on OK. So now uh, we log off and now we should be able to log into the new client. So let's double click and we pick here the new client with the number three. And here we use the user SAP star and the password is pass, P-A-S-S. -S. Okay. And now we are in the new client, but the client is uh, totally empty. And if we want to copy some data from another client to this client, we use the transaction um, SCCL. And we see here the target client. This is the new client. And we can set a source client here. I pick here number one. And then we select the profile. I pick here sub all and here one again then we check the box test run and we click on the button start immediately okay then on continue and here we don't use the simulation because this take more time than the resource check Today we click on resource check. And now the analysis is starting. And so this, this runs a while. So I have increased the speed here a little bit. And after this, we see here a summary about the tables. For example, we see here 13,000 tables and the data in kilobyte. Here we would have all users from client one in client three. And yes, that was it. Have fun uh, setting it up. If you like my videos, I would be happy if you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I would be happy to see you again on my next video. Thank you and see you soon.